Memorial Service paid tribute to Border Patrol agents from across the country who have died on the job. As our border reporter Angela Cocherga shows us, the dangers date back decades. A life given in service is a life that bears much fruit. The Memorial Service brought together both old and new Border Patrol agents who came to pay tribute to 120 of their fallen colleagues. Jason Christopher Banides, April 4th. The names that I read were, were the, during the era that I was in high school and in college at the time that I was thinking about going into law enforcement. Forward. Forward. Since the creation of the Border Patrol in 1924, the job has been dangerous. This retired agent from Arizona remembers two fellow agents who worked a highway checkpoint. And they were kidnapped by, by drug smugglers and taken out to an old ranch and, and handcuffed to an old stove and then shot and killed there. That happened in California in 1967. These days, many lose their lives in vehicle accidents, often patrolling rough terrain. All of those lost were honored by a horse without a rider and a flyover by a Customs and Border Protection helicopter. It's great for us to have returning families of, of those that have died in the line of duty, for them to help come and memorialize their service to the country. Agents from across the country attended this memorial service. It's also a chance to reunite with old friends and get to know some new colleagues. All bound by a shared duty to protect the border. Angela Cocherga, ABC7. A park and community center in Chaparral are in danger of closing because of frequent vandalism. A notice was put out recently stating the park would be shut down if vandalism continued. The county says vandals cause more than $1,000 damage each week. The sheriff's office says this is part of a bigger problem, staffing.